Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild and Mikey Gaming, Nick Tunes Unite. In the last part, we went to Jellyfish Fields, destroyed the Jellyfish Harvesters, and helped the Dutchman get back his ghostly crew. And now we're heading off to the Jellyfish Factory. Jimmy, your face. I, 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 okay, I know. I know. I make weird faces in this game. That ought to do it. But that's only because I'm a I'm a, a 3D character, unlike the rest of you guys. Well, you worked fine in my style of animation. Well, yeah. But, I mean, but that's your style of animation, Timmy. You know how it is when it comes to. Turning 2D characters into 3D. And sometimes it works out pretty well, but other times not so much. I'd say probably one of the best examples of turning 2D characters 3D was um, some cases with me. I'd say probably one of the best 3D models I had was um, uh, actually from the second movie, Sponge Out of Water. Yeah, oh, Timmy, you're up. So, yeah, I just found out they're bringing back my show again. What, what, Timmy? Yeah, but this time it's going to focus on Cosmo and Wanda. A boy chin wonder. And it's going to be 3D with some 2D mixed in. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, hopefully it turns out better than Fairly Otter does. You know, honestly, I think the best route for them to go with this is to have it be a prequel to the original series. Like before, we got assigned to Timmy. Honestly, yeah, that does seem like a pretty good idea. Okay, maybe not a good idea, but I think that's the best route for you to go with there. Now, out of all the uh, music tracks in the game, this is probably the one that best fits my show. Probably right about that, SpongeBob. Don't worry, Patrick, I gotcha. All right. Thank you, Timmy. Oh, I got my own indicator. Oh, yeah, we, we've got to help Patrick. Oh. So, let's go do this. And also, this uh, hand that I've got attached to me can be used to attack. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of wish Nickelodeon would let my show die with dignity. But then again, they couldn't even do that with the original series. Yeah, also, in this world, in this world, Wild Waggy Tales, anything past Wishology is not canon. You know, I think the, um, uh, the dual bubbler will also work on the jellyfish.
Kinda cool how I got my own indicator. Let me try something, guys. Never mind that. Just said that, Patrick. Okay, we're gonna need meat for this. We're gonna need a new trunk layer. There we go. Now, SpongeBob, you're up. Uh, I feel like the design of this level was based on um, Jellyfish Hunter, when Mr. Krabs took a bunch of jellyfish. Oh, yeah, not one of your finest moments, Krabs. Don't be quiet, picking. Uh, Timmy, what's wrong with you? Uh, I don't know, but I'm glad it stopped. Dude, I don't know how I feel about that noise. You know, I actually just remembered, I uh, also used the um, uh, jellyfish's sting in the SpongeBob 4D ride, The Great Jelly Rescue, to destroy the Krusty Krab. Oh yeah, and I always voiced my Bob Jules in that. Who also voiced me in Truth or Square the Game and uh, Boating Bash. I will say this, he does a better me than Joe White. Pull that up, and there we go. Nice work turning the machine off. We still need to free the trap jellyfish. Find all four, find all, find and open, sorry. Find and open the four emergency vents to free them. Oh, we already knew that, Patrick.
good shot, Timmy. Thanks. Also, I'm gonna hold it down a bit and you'll see, yeah, it launches a big star and like I said, it turns all the enemies into inanimate objects we can, which we can actually pick up and throw. these guys first. Yeah, I say that every time I switch over to cleft. we supposed to reach that button? Well, I'll show ya. Deadly? Okay. Wait a minute, how is he able to slam on the buttons while he's in this one? More toxic waste. Well, this is plenty we're talking about, so watch it, crabs. Okay, now we'll use the neutron flare to. Yep, there we go.
respawn? It's time to find Patrick. Mr. Krabs will be with Plankton. They're through the door. That's uh, Karen, my computer wife. yourself, SpongeBob. This is my lab! Alright, upgrade abilities. Upgrade the phone gloves. Okay, time for my next ability. Uh, Bubble Bomb. Not sure if anybody knows this, but these actually come from the episode Dying for Pie. One, bomb, there we go. Oh, man. Well, let's go with just that episode. You made me wear a salmon suit, and I do knock-knock jokes and all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, your holographic meatloaf. How am I supposed to? Jimmy, get out of the way! Why don't you serve this instead of chub? Oh, 
Wait, actually, no, this is a good time to test out the... Yeah! Yes! It works! That's all the enemies. Okay. Well, everybody, this concludes part seven of Nick Tunes Unite. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in part eight.